I do not understand why I should be creating an account just to send an API request. That seems completely overkill, right? But interestingly, nearly 80% of you guys are still using Postman, but I have personally moved on from both Postman and Insomnia. They're not even on my personal laptop and I've been on the lookout for something better and I think I found what I needed. So initially I tried Thunder Client, the VS Code extension, which is fine, but I wasn't fully satisfied with the Git Sync feature. Then I switched to the VS Code REST Client extension and I'm quite happy with it because I can easily version my files, though I miss a little bit the graphical interface, but I have been pretty satisfied with this setup overall. But I think everything is about to change. Under the comment section on the poll that I've submitted, someone suggested Bruno. And I'm not talking about you, Bruno. I know there is a Bruno watching, so that's not you. I'm talking about the new open source HTTP client application. So there is one thing that immediately convinced me to try it. So it feels like these developers knew exactly what I was experiencing and what I was looking for. So I went to the manifesto page and I could read this. So we believe that API collections should be located with your source code. Yes, please. <laughs> with Bruno, collections become first class citizens co-located with related information and easily version controlled. So now they've got my attention. Developers can clone a code repo, get it up and running, use Bruno to browse these examples on how to use the API and start playing with it. Where is the download button? <laughs> so the interface of Bruno is very similar to Postman, making it incredibly intuitive and it offers collections, requests and environment variables to all the essentials really. And I've never really used Postman for testing anyway and not even for automation because I prefer to handle these directly in my source code, whether it's writing automated tests or scripting automation. So I do it all within the code base. That way I can easily share it with other developers and my team through version control. But let's take a look at the files generated by Bruno. So I really like the clear text representation of the request. Plus there is a VS code extension for the syntax highlighting and I can easily edit the files and add them to my version control system. So exactly what I was looking for. So the manifesto did not lie. I can store my collections right alongside the code. The collections can be easily added to my version control and it's super simple for anyone to use them. Although Bruno is still a new tool, the developers are very transparent about their roadmap and I'm definitely rooting for them for this project. It already offers like a lot and yeah, it's very promising. So let me know in the comments what has been your experience with HTTP clients. What are your criteria for picking one? Are you annoyed at having to create an account to use Postman and Insomnia? I'm really curious to hear about your thoughts. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe if you liked it. And allez, ciao Bruno. <laughs>